Hello everyone, this is our water. Welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. In the last episode, we cleaned up everything in the Forest Temple and got our first few shadow. So in this episode, we're gonna finally leave our little provenance of uh, Ordon. Or I could have just said Ordon Province. And um, venture forth to the next uh, Light Spirit. And this is where things get so cool! Oh, come on! I was getting so hype and you had to ruin it. Sorry, I was just really happy to hear this music, but apparently Link can't swing a sword worth a crap. Welcome to Hyrule Field, everyone! It actually looks a little bit more plain than I remember. Oh god, I see those freaking things. So I don't know what these things are called right over here, but I hate them. They just scamper around and they just they don't they don't bother you personally, but I also vaguely remember them exploding. Oh nope, nope, they drop bombs. So I have no idea what those things are. I don't know what purpose they have. All I know is that they leave me alone. I leave them alone. They don't hurt me. I don't hurt them. That's all I really care about in the world. Please leave me alone. Uh, oh shoot, there was actually a few things we could have done back in Ordon Village, but you know what? I can do that. I can deal with that later. It's not a bother of me doing it now. Um, I just realized where the crap am I going? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hi, I'm going the incredibly wrong way. Oh, whoops! Please don't eat me, Big Bird. Right, Ordon, or not Ordon, Elden Province is this way, this way, this way, not the right side. Oh god, no, please don't turn dark! No, I don't remember if freaking skeleton- Oh! Oh shoot, sorry, I thought that was the graphics glitching! Uh, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> still there. <laughs> Go no further! There's a black wall head that blocks the way. I thought I would deliver a few letters, but it seems impossible. I am the honorable and dependable letter carrier, known known to some as the postman. Now that I've introduced myself, please take this letter and re read it at your leisure. To read a letter, press down on the d-pad to open the collection screen, and then select the letter. You can do that to read any letters you receive. Do it whenever you see fit. <laughs> well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail! <laughs> oh, he's still there! Hi! Hi! Hi, <laughs> dang it, I was hoping it would show like a <laughs> really nice shot of him still in the cutscene. You get the frick away from me, you stupid bug. Come on, come on, come on! Pick up the pace, Link! You can go- you go faster- you go faster as a freaking wolf! Why can't you run faster as a human? Oh, everything's dark. Hey! It was much closer than I thought. You remember, right? You know what this is. If you set foot in there, you might be a wolf again for quite some time. For at least as long as it takes for you to save the light of Elden from the twilight anyway. So, shall we try to go see the light spirit of Elden? <laughs> I guess we have to, uh... Really? Wait, hold on a second. Really, this is what it looks like up here? I never actually- I never actually took the time to actually look up at the wall. I'm a little disappointed it's not any bigger than that. Okay. Righto. Midna, hurry up and go on the wall and just grab me. Want me to let you into the twilight? Unfortunately.
That's a good boy. Now, you need to listen to what I say from now on. Ah, look! How lovely! The black clouds of twilight are so fetching today. I feel so much more at ease here. And you look so much better like this than in those dusty old clothes anyway. <laughs> so, let's get going! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what happens when you mix Twilight with uh, Senses? Apparently not as dark as I remember. Right. HD lighting's a thing. Um, but if you use Senses here... Um, you, well, first of all, if you see... What I think is my broken sword. What you need to do is, um... Sniff it. You learned the youth scent. See, isn't being a wolf more convenient? Now use X to hone your senses. Sweet God, she's gonna tell me to keep on using it. So yeah, um, using X, it will actually show you a path of where the sense is going. Uh, since I've already played the game, I already know where exactly it's going, but might as well just keep it like this. So, the first time I played this, I had to keep the senses on because I did not know where to go. And this was a... Hi. Um, this... It, it was it was never as bright as it was here. It was much darker and in the twilight It just made it so hard to see so whenever monsters popped in it scared the absolute crap out of me. I Just found it again, didn't I? Frick. Um, yeah, we also have shadow beasts here. Lo and behold So what we have to do gather them all together hold down B and let her rip Simple as that they will get progressively harder unfortunately, um that's, that's actually another thing I want to talk about, um, because I never got to talk about in the... Right. We're missing something, by the way. What's this? That's strange. The bridge is gone. I wonder if this is the work of those shadow creatures. Ugh, what a pain. Ah oh, well, let's look for it. You, get your map out. Yell error marks where we are, you know. You know, you love that. Wow. You know that, right? Whenever you destroy those creatures from darkness, a portal opens that looks like this on the map. You hear me? It's called a portal. You better remember it. And in those woods we came through. Yes, it's got to be around there. I'll use my power to take you to the location of the open portal. Pick wherever you want to go. My god, the portals don't look like a model of mess for once. Um... Guess I'll have to talk about what I want to talk about later. Game. I don't think it really matters which portal you pick because Midna will just yell at you if you pick the wrong portal. Being like, are you stupid? You picked the wrong one! See? I told you! We're here! You know, most people can't leave Twilight that easily. You'd better be grateful. It's your job to look for the bridge. Look hard. Yeah, um... <laughs> about that. For some reason, I never realized this bridge was supposed to be useful, and I thought this was here from the very beginning. I also didn't even realize it was a bridge. That was a plank of wood. It took me quite a bit to even realize this was here. It was hilarious. Wow, it's perfect, don't you think? What do you think? Should we take it? Orp. Good little obedient wolf. And now we actually we need to tell her where we need to warp it to. So it should be Kakariga Gorge. And this is so cool! She just zaps the bridge and uses her little hair finger thingy to lift it up. It's so cool. Minna is... Well, I, I would say she's the best, but not all the time.
See? Just as I thought. <laughs> so, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need the power again. It should help you find what we're looking for, don't you think? Alright, let's keep going. Righto, anyways, what I was saying before about the freaking Shadow Beast that we just killed right here. Um, so back in that cutscene, um, when we went to go talk with Zelda, they showed these two little Shadow Beasts next to the so-called King of Shadows. They had like these little metal plates on their face. From what I understand, they don't appear in this game ever. They only appeared in those two- in that one cutscene and that is it. I don't know where the crap they are, I don't know if they even exist. Um, there's only two places I can think of, one of which was actually added into HD Remake as a separate dungeon when you put in the Wolf Link amiibo, which I'll deal with that at the very end. The other one I just never entered because I never had a reason to, because I never 100%ed it. Well, you know what? I'm gonna 100% it, except the fishes. The fishes can go screw themselves. Um, are these Wily Bogoboblins or something? I don't know. The name will be up on the screen. Because apparently, Freaky Midna won't tell me about the freaking enemy. Man! At least with freaking Navi and Fi, they, they're a little bit informative, but you're just freaking... Ah! Freaking, 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 freak. It would have been so nice, dang it. Would have been so nice. Anyways, um... The scent would lead over here. I forgot to turn on the X marker. Huh. What are they doing here? This is a pretty elaborate gate. Where are they trying to keep in? Or out? I bet it'll be worth our while to dig in. So yeah, scent goes into gate. Also, there better not be blood on the gate. There better be paint. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Don't mind the dog digging into the gate. Don't mind me as I chomp chomp you. Come on. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I need to stop doing that jump back then jump forward thing. I just do it on... I just accidentally do it because I'm spamming the A button. Alright, so in here... Here we are in Kakariko Village, and great, we have more Shadow Beasts. Hey buddy, come here! So this one can be a little bit tricky since this one is all the way farther away from the other two. Um, my suggestion, lure this one away because he's the farthest of the two. Just beat the crap out of him. If you can manage to um, still beat them all together, you can do that. This is just a little bit easier, in my opinion. Um, hey buddy! Hey, 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 look at this tail. You want this tail? You want this, you want this bodacious tail? What does bodacious even mean, now that I think about it? Well, there we go. Created another portal. Killed off these other shadow beasts. No. Oh, I was about to say we can go look for the kids, but that'll work. To the hero who was transformed into a blue-eyed beast in the realm of shadows in twilight. This way. Alright, Mysterious Light, what do you have? I am a spirit of light. Hero chosen by the gods. Look for my light. Gather the light stolen by the shadows into this. Looky here, we have another vessel of light. Yeah. I don't really mind these, as I said before. Although, for some people who weren't expecting it, they... Well, at least at, le at least with my brother, he got very annoyed and stopped playing the game here. Which was a downright shame. The insects of darkness. They are the form taken, yada yada yada. Sorry. <laughs> it, it's literally the exact same thing. Um, It's the exact same thing that uh, Farron said to us before, so might as well just skip over it. So, you actually wanna... 
Sorry about that, I heard a really loud noise coming from upstairs. Um, you want to make sure you take a look at your map because, uh, actually... Actually... Huh. I, I could have swore there were actually bugs over here, but maybe they changed it? Um... I I'll take a look at it later. Uh... Oh, so is it just me or is that map a little offset from the road? Whatever. Anyways, make sure you grab all of the bugs from the village because that is a long way up. Uh, there is a little spirit in the window. What happens if we use it? <laughs> Cripes! How the heck am I supposed to babysit someone else's little brats while I ought to be saving myself? Gee, thanks a lot, buddy. Okay, um... Oh god, this is gonna screw me over. Oh, everything's mirrored. Oh no. Okay, uh... If I recall... Oh, this is... This is definitely gonna be interesting. So, oh. Hey, you can climb up here! Up, 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 up. Go down here. Woo! Cripes! I don't see those black brutes anywhere! They've gotta be hiding somewhere, waiting for their helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast! We are safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah? I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure didn't seem impressed by my bombs! How long do you think we can hold the sanctuary against beasts that strong, huh? Once they attack, it's over! Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her, and a whole gang from town went to save her! And what happened? She was already gone, and then there were two monsters waiting! Connecting the dots, that means that if we get attacked by them, then we'll be... Barnes! <laughs> Look, Ronaldo. All I meant to say is that it's risky here too! Ain't you got some place we can hide? There is... a cellar. <laughs> what?! You got a cellar?! Where's the entrance, man?! The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all of the candles have been lit. I... would not do that. When father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects like like the beasts outside. Don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. Link is coming to save us all. I can feel it. These kids knew you'd come to save them. What a hero. How sad. To be right in front of someone and not be noticed at all. <laughs> you were chosen by the gods, and only that keeps you from turning into a spirit. Or worse, into a dark monster when you enter twilight. And no one knows what you've done. You may be doomed to toil in abs absurdity forever. That's not absurdity, by the way, me. Obscurity? I think that's how you say it. You're the type to worry about everything, I can tell. 
But don't fret over Princess Zelda. She chose the state of affairs after all. Anyway, what's with ha what's with having to light candles to get to the basement? Not very subtle, is it? So, what are you going to do now, my lonely little hero? <laughs> well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end the episode. I'm gonna end the episode and I, I don't actually know what Link is staring at, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, um, oh, the stick. Right, we have a stick. I have a sudden urge to throw this at the wall and chase after it. Anyways, that'll be the end of this episode. In the next episode, we shall go ahead and get all of the uh, light vessels for the light spirit and hopefully break out of this twilight and save the little kids over here. This is Zora Water signing out. I will see you guys in the next one.